We will start with the most obvious organelle in any eukaryotic cell, the nucleus. The nucleus is a membrane-bound organelle surrounded by a double membrane. It communicates with the surrounding cytosol via numerous nuclear pores. The analogy I'm going to use here is the brain. Now if you're given a test question that asks you to identify the function of the nucleus, it is not good enough to say that it is the brains of the cell, because my question would be, well, what do brains do? You can use the analogy of the brain, though, to remember its function, which is to control all of the functions of the cell. The nucleus controls cell function through the genetic material it contains, called chromatin or chromosomes. This genetic material will provide the instructions for cell functions, such as which type of protein to produce and when. The instructions will leave the nucleus on a messenger molecule through a pore in the nuclear membrane. The nuclear membrane then controls the movement of material into and out of the nucleus. This dark, prominent structure in the nucleus is called the nucleolus. Be sure you can differentiate between these two names as a common mistake students make is to mix up the function of the nucleus with the nucleolus. The nucleolus produces ribosomes which move out of the nucleus to positions on the rough endoplasmic reticulum where they are critical in protein synthesis.